Yo, YouTube, what's going on? Uh, welcome back. This is me making a video on the add-on iridescent blight tag because I realized that I never made a video on this for some reason. I don't know why. This is such a good add-on. I go through like pretty much all the ultra add-ons and make videos on them, at least all the ones that are interesting. And I just like skip this one randomly. Like why? It's such a good add-on. I don't know why I skipped it. Or at least I haven't used it in a long time. You know, the more I think about it, maybe I might've made a video on this whenever blight first got released, but let's be real. Blight is a completely different killer now than he was on release. Like there's so much more stuff that people know how to do with him. I feel like blight on release was an entirely different killer. No one knew what the hell they were doing. People were just kind of winging it. I feel like he's a whole different killer now. So I feel like it's worth redoing. Um, so we're going to run it with, uh, this build. This is just a random, a uh, random build that we did during the, uh, stream today. I'm actually going to take off Shadowborn because I don't really like Shadowborn. All right, I throw in whispers. It's just like some good perks, right? Some like decent perks. Not like a crazy good try hard build, right? Like this isn't this isn't the best build you can have on Blight, but it's just like an okay build. It's like partially fun, but partially effective. Um, we're also going to be combining every Blight tag with Blighted Crow. And also what every Blight tag does, I maybe should explain that, but I'm just going to explain it real quick. What every Blight tag does is basically when all your tokens have been used, if you use every single rush before getting a hit, then that hit will be a one shot down hit. So essentially if I could use all five stacks before getting my down, it'll be a one shot. Um, I haven't really like uh, tried to use this in a long time or like attempted to get value with it in a long time But I think I think as long as I play decently, it should be relatively manageable to do I haven't really played around this add-on in a long time So I, I remember back in the day like I remember when I when I played with this before I remember like trying to force more rushes Oftentimes would fuck me up and then make me miss a hit that I would get without trying to force it so I'm not sure if that's still going to happen to me, or maybe if like nowadays I'm better with Blight. I don't know. I'm not really the, I'm not really that great of a Blight. That's why I'm bringing Nazarov's key, because I kind of need good maps, because I'm not really a great Blight player, to be honest. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see how, how it does. I'm really curious to see how much value you get as like maybe like a slightly above average Blight. And uh, maybe I can give a final judgment on it after the game. So let's just go play with it. Let's see. Okay, pretty decent map. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, again, I'm not exactly the best Blight player, but we'll see. Um... I guess, like, the thing about this add-on is I'm gonna try... Something I'm gonna try to do, because I think something I do wrong in my videos a lot of the time, is I'll try to force value a lot of times, even when I shouldn't, right? Like, even in a situation where, like, value isn't really needed to be forced, like, I'll still try to do it. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to maybe, like, if I have a free hit, after, like, two rushes, I'll just take the free hit and then follow up with it, right? As opposed to being like, no, 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 let me just spam a bunch of rushes so I can yell about Iridus and Blight Tag value, right? Like... If I'm able to get value without using it, then cool. But if I have to use it, I have to use it. You know what I mean? Um, this is where the value would come in, so let's try. Yeah, we got him. Yep. Eerie blight tag value, baby. See? I don't even have to go out of my way to do it. All I gotta do is just play, and it'll just naturally happen. Eerie blight tag value, baby. I'm gonna throw him over on the skirt truck, even though it's kind of far away. It's kind of a bummer how far away it is, but we should still be able to make it. And we're blight, so we can rush the whole way across the map in like half a second, so it's fine. Up you go. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, I think the more I've played this killer, the more I'm, like, I think coming to realize that, like, using all of your blush, all your blushes, using all your blight rushes, oh shit, oh, and I still had one more rush anyway, using all of your blight rushes is usually, like, the best way to get a hit, so, like, if anything, I think the animal will probably help you get hits more often than not, right, like, usually when you're playing blight, like, usually, if you do end up making a mistake while playing Blight, usually that mistake is not using all your rushes. Like, usually what you can do is end up using, like, I find myself that when I end up when I end up not getting a hit on Blight that I could have normally gotten, usually the reason why is that I was trying to greed and go for, like, a crazy flick that it wasn't really reasonable. And if I would have just used more of my rushes, I would have had it, you know? I want to see if she had Dead Hard. Doesn't look like she did. I'm just going to down her. She either didn't have Dead Hard or she didn't use it. I couldn't tell which one... Like, I think she didn't use it because it didn't seem like she traveled any kind of a big distance. So I think we're good. And once you know it, we got a scourge hook right here. Well, tarnation. Well, tarnation. We got it right here. All right. Uh, that gen again. There's some scratch marks here. Hey, like, for instance, like, I'm not going to pass up on this hit, right? And now that she's injured, I'm not going to go out of my way to try to get value out of the add on. It's just like, you know, what the? F why did you do that? I guess I'm just gonna scourge hook her. I was gonna try to get I was gonna try to use my pop first, but honestly, with how fast these hooks are, I could just throw her on and get more scourge hook value. Alright, Quentin, what, 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 what are you up to here, my guy? Let's see. Okay. See, like right here we might be able to, right? Like this guy's kind of walking into it. Yeah, he walked right into that one, dude. He literally walked right into that. He literally just let me bounce back and forth while we vaulted the same window. 
over and over and over again until we can get that sweet, sweet, eerie blight tag value, baby. And honestly, that's in that's a that's a lot of value. Like being able to end a chase one hit faster like that is actually pretty nuts. Oh, she does have that hard. Maybe she just didn't use it last time. Or maybe I just didn't see her use it. I don't know. I'm gonna give her the old slaparoo. I'm gonna kick this gen. I'm hoping she doesn't DC because this match is going downhill really, really quickly. And usually when that happens is when people start quitting, but hopefully she doesn't. I'm gonna throw on this scourge hook and it'll probably blow up that generator. And it's not looking very good for the survivors. Just kidding, they got it done. But that other gen got done. Any scratch marks? Mmm, no, but we got a gamer. Oh, we got a gamer. I'll let them get another unhook. Okay, well, this is going pretty well. Um, I said it wasn't a very good blight, but I feel like I'm having a pretty okay game right now. So, uh, I guess get hustled or something. I don't know. We're going to throw up on the hook. We don't really need to worry about pop. I don't think any gens really have that much progress. This gen has some progress, but it's regressing now, so it doesn't matter anyway. Um, is that the full health guy that came over here? I think the guy that went over to the building was healing, right? Yeah, we want we want this full health guy. That's who we want. You're the one we want. You're the one we want. This this pal's here, right? I gotta be careful singing, dude. I think I think. Look, I haven't been around YouTube that long, but I've heard stories that if you sing too accurately to whatever song it is that you're trying to sing, that you can be copyright struck it. Bro, eerie flight tag is kind of nuts. Like again, it like naturally lets you be really patient, right? Like, I could have tried to force a hit there quicker, but I instead I'm just, I, I'm allowed to, I, I just allow myself to be really, really patient and use all my all my rushes, and then he just dies instantly. Instead of, like, hitting him once and giving him a bunch of distance and then having to wait for all your rushes to come back, it just speeds up the process so much. It's actually quite bonkers. Dead hard? I don't know. I was trying to bait dead hard just in case. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go to the window. I just want to make sure he can't vault it. I kind of messed that up. Maybe I should have just swung and see if... And I, I, I wanted to bait dead hard and then kind of come back around, but maybe I shouldn't have tried to bait dead hard. Maybe I should have just got the hit. Because I don't even know if he had dead hard. He might not have. I could have kicked that gen inside with pop, but honestly, the game's over at this point anyway, so I'm just going to keep hooking people until they're dead. I'm not going to stress too much about getting pop value because the game's over. Like, I just kind of want to chase people, you know? Oops, didn't even mean to do that. Um, They went inside, didn't they? There's scratch marks here, though. And no idea where they are. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's down there. Yeah, he's down there. I think someone was inside the main building too. They also booned up, but that's kind of okay. Like at this point, like I, it's kind of cool if they heal because then, it, then then this means we have more opportunities to see how good the add-on is. Hey, man. Oh, I was trying to swing to the right so I can avoid the went and get the Nia and I ended up missing both of them. Oopsie. We're just going to smack her once. See, now we're not got to worry about the Adam. We just got a downer. Did she add that hard? She does. But we got her at the end of it, baby. We got her at the end of it, baby. Is that hook up there the one that got broken or was it a different one? Nice. That's not going to work. But I got to be looked down, gang, because uh, she's up a hill. Mm, all right. Well, hey, that's fine. I hate, dude. I, honestly, I'm ashamed of myself. See, like right here i'm not gonna try to force it right here like old tofu you know this new change tofu he's he's so superior to old tofu old tofu would have tried to force value there even though it made no sense to i'd have been like fuck it i'm gonna keep bouncing off the same wall a hundred times and then miss my rush to try to force value out of my add-on instead of playing smart and letting it happen organically you know it's all about that organic value baby that's what's important that sweet sweet organic value this game was kind of a slaughter my lord my lord, this was not a very close game at all. Quentin was right there. I saw him. You're right here. I'll do it here, though, okay? <laughs> okay, never mind. This this new to it turns out this new Tofu was superior than old Tofu in every way because new Tofu can do what old Tofu was trying to do but actually succeed. I guess old Tofu just sucked. I think that's all it was. I think old Tofu just sucked ass. He just sucked ass. That's all it was. He was just ass. He was straight up trayish. Well, GG's, boys. All right, here's the end game screen. I mean, perks wise, it looks pretty okay matchmaking wise, but again, I guess perks don't really tell much. Didn't really feel like too close of a game. Didn't really feel too great. Maybe they just had an off game. Maybe I just had a good game. Who knows? They all had dead hard, but I feel like I didn't really experience much of the dead hards. I mean, I guess because I was one shot downing so much, which is another nice benefit, right? Another nice, another nice benefit to anything that one shot downs is not having to deal with this fucking perk. But anyway, <laughs> I was gonna say GG's and we'll just queue up for a second game and we'll do the exact same thing and see how it goes. So GG's.
the exact same map. I mean, I guess I can't argue. I mean, I burned a map offering, and they burned the same map offering, so, like, can I really complain? But come on, man, there's five Azeroth's maps. Couldn't we get, like, something else? You know what I mean? I guess it's cool, though. Oh, enemy spotted. Enemy spotted, baby. Okay, we couldn't quite get the flick. If we could have got that flick, it would have been a one-shot down, and that would have been a sick way to open the match. That would have been fucking sick, man. I kind of thought she would... Yeah, I knew she was going to do that. I thought she would fake the, the first vault, to be honest. But I guess faking that first vault doesn't really do much for her, right? That's not where I meant to rush. Uh, hmm. You know, right about now, you might be thinking, hmm, Tofu, you don't really look too much like you know what you're doing, huh? And I would say yes. I warned you that I'm not exactly the best blade player. You know, I warned you guys. You guys thought I was just bullshitting. You thought I was just lying? No, man, I, I don't lie. I don't tell lies, dude. I know my place. We'll bounce off this rock. We'll head in. Or we won't head in. Or we'll head in. We'll head in. We won't head in. I don't know. Are we heading in? Are we heading out? I don't know, man. Luckily, she was trying to juke me, so she kind of just, like, ran up against the wall a bunch of times. Because I, th I think if she would have went straight to the window or straight to the pallet, I probably would have not even gotten that. But it's cool. It's cool. We got a scourge hook. Let's throw on. These guys seem to be a bit more on the, uh, on the gamer side of things, right? They seem to be more gamer than, than the last game, which is nice. I'm gonna see if I can bounce again because we only have one more. And bam, eerie blight tag value, baby. I'm gonna kick this with pop and then I'm gonna throw her back on the hook and then we're gonna pop again and maybe even scourge hook again. I think there was a scourge hook right there. Yeah, so we'll get scourge hook and pop again as soon as I, assuming I don't get flashlight saved. We're good, poggers. And even more value, dude, let's go. That's a pretty good start, I gotta say. None too shabby. None too shabby, I must say. There were scratch points right down here. Where'd you go, bud? Where you at, bud? Behind this rock? No. No. I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Wait. You're down here. Oh, here you are. Oh. I think I can maybe... Oh, you replay that value, baby. Okay, sorry. I had to get that out of me. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I need to get that out of me. Look, man. I still get hype when I make good plays as Blight. Because I don't do it very often, okay? I'm honestly not that good at this killer, so like when I make big plays with Blight, it makes me happy. I don't really feel this kind of excitement with, with, with very many killers, because I feel like I've played every other killer for like thousands of hours. But Blight's still relatively new to me, okay? Which is why I like playing him so much. Uh, lots of people here. Mm, I think we can get a hit here, because this wall has like no collision. Yeah. Ah, damn, dog. And she's gone. And she's gone. She's out of this bitch. I mean, I think that's a good sign, right? That's a good sign. That's a good sight that we're doing good things, right? When we when we juice them so hard that they quit, I feel like that's usually a good sign. Let's see what she does here. Okay, with me. All right. I was hoping she would keep greeting it and we would keep bouncing off the walls and then eventually one shot down her. Either way, this is fine. This is the same value we would have got if she would have thrown it right away. So it's cool. I'm just gonna hit her. I feel like I could have got a hit there. And like, again, if I would have tried to force the eerie blight tag, I feel like I would have just ended up not getting a hit. And that's where, again, I'm trying to be this new tofu, not the old tofu, where I don't try to like throw games trying to force hits that I shouldn't be getting. And instead I just take the guaranteed hit. You know what I mean? Seems a lot better. Seems a lot, lot better. Um, This is fine. I can just rush here. Dead hearted and I bounce off of nothing. I don't know what I bounce off of there. Or maybe I bounce off the hook. I don't know. Either way, we got her. And she's gone too. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh test successful. I think uh I think the light tag is extremely strong. I think it's been a successful test so far. I must say. Oh well shit. Like I feel like we are so oppressive that people are just rage quitting. Like these guys didn't seem like they were too bad at the game either, FYI. Like these guys seem like they're all running good perks. They seem to relatively know what they're doing juking-wise and, like, looping-wise. Like, I know she kind of fucked up a little bit right there, but look, she dead hearted out of it, right? That's the that's the typical good survivor thing to do these days, right? It's just fuck, it's just play really risky and then dead hard to save, to save your ass. These guys are relatively good players, right? Like these, are the, like, these are the type of gamers where if I was playing, like, Onryo or something, I'd probably struggle really hard. So the fact that we're, like, shitting on them so much that they're having to DC, I feel like it's a good sign. I think Eerie Blight Tag is actually just absolutely nuts. It, it's wild because, like... Blight is such a strong killer already by default, and it feels like he also has these, like, crazy good add-ons. Like, I feel like I never see Eerie Blight tag, because I feel like the, his other add-ons are already so strong, too, you know? 
Like, who the fuck's running Eerie Blight Tag when you can run double speed or like speed compound 21 or like compound 33 or like, you know, all the, or like Alchemist Ring, you know what I mean? Like, this motherfucker has the craziest add ons. All, like, even his power by default is already so crazy strong, but dude, the, the add ons he has, like, my lord. My lord, this man's. This man's is out of control. And she's dead too. All that's left is the Kate. I have no idea where she is. I'm just gonna rush around and see if we can find her. Mm. There's a med kit. Whispers is going off here. I've really been paying attention to Whispers. Maybe I should have been. I kind of forgot I had Whispers. I don't really run it that much these days. If I was paying more attention to Whispers, I probably could have figured out where she was. Oh, she's back there. I just saw her head. Come on, Rushes, come back. Come back, Rushes, come back. Come on, come on, come on, come back. All right, we'll hit this tree. All right, all right, good power play. I mean, that kind of forces me to just get out of my power, which is pretty good for her. Um, what's she gonna do here? Window? Oh, I was trying to bounce off that hook, but I fucking biffed it, dude. Oh, she jumped in the locker on accident. Interesting. Wait, what? Am I stupid? Where'd she go? Oh, she got in the locker. I was hoping she would jump out of the last second. All right, she's patient. All right, all right, all right. Honestly, that's a good play because it does force me to hit her once and it gives her speed. So I can give her some distance to maybe get hatched. And she got hatched. That's actually a really good play. That was really smart of her. If she didn't, like, she just jumped in the locker. She was like, fuck it. I know he has eerie blight tag. So, like, I'll just force him to do one damage shade. That way I could use the speed to try to look for hatch. And it was just enough for her to get hatched. Honestly, like, actually really smart play. She, she, she honestly deserves hatch from that. That was actually really good. Um... GG's. It was pretty unfortunate about all the DCs, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, hey, you know, good sports. They just say GG. You'd love to see it. All right. I mean, I think that's all the testing we really needed, right? Like, I think that was good. Those two games, I think, pretty much sum it up pretty well. Uh, I, I guess it doesn't help that I'm playing a good map for, for Blight, right? Like, these like these Azeroth's maps are very, very good for Blight. If I was playing on maybe, like, a worse map for Blight, maybe this would go differently. But, hey, you get a good map for Blight with every Blight tag, and... If it's fucking GG, man. It is GG. All right, so final thoughts are like, this thing's like a 10 out of 10. It's crazy because like, I feel like if there was an overall tier list for like add-ons for every killer, like Blight would have so many like S and A tier add-ons, dude. Like, like, like both of his ultra rares are fucking insane. Like Alchemist Ring is insane. His speed add-ons are both insane. Like he has, like Compound 21 is insane. He has so many good add-ons. Like, his add-ons are insanely nuts. Considering most killers usually have, like, one add-on that's good, he has even, like, Adrenaline Vial in its own way is kind of insane. If you know how to use Adrenaline Vial, it's absolutely nuts. Like, he has so many strong add-ons, especially if you compare him to other killers who sometimes have, like, maybe one or two add-ons that are really good and the rest are ass. Like, his add-ons are nuts. I can't believe how strong they made this killer and his add-ons. I think I honestly think he needs an add-on rework, if I'm, if I'm just being honest. Some of these are pretty nuts. Like, he's already as strong as he is. Like, this is pretty bonkers. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's always fun being able to sneak in some, some Blight gameplay onto the YouTube, and maybe I'll try to find an excuse to do it some more soon. Uh, if you guys did like this video, feel free to give it a like. It helps me a lot with the algorithm. Gets more people to myself, which is always good. Subscribe if you want as well, because I'm gonna be uploading literally daily. And also, I'm live on Twitch six nights a week over at twitch.tv slash otofu, so you guys can feel free to stop by and say hello. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your night, and until next time, I will see you guys later. So yeah, I'm out of here. So yeah. Uh, wait, what else I got?